Hey folks, welcome to ADSR. I'm Stephen Ellistad. Make sure you subscribe to the ADSR YouTube channel and follow on social media. In this tutorial, I just wanted to take a look at uh, mapping multiple instruments to a keyboard in contact because that can be a really nice way to load up multiple sets of, of sounds or instruments. And this works with library instruments as well as samples that you've got on your own. So there's actually two ways we can do this. I'm going to demonstrate this with files. So for example, if I wanted to drag some sounds onto and a single instrument, I can just map them to different parts of the keyboard. So we're going to go into my one shots here. We'll just grab a couple of parts. And we'll drag them in. And now I'm going to go to my mapping editor. And I can see where they've mapped across the screen. That's a little much for some kicks. So I'm going to downsize them quite a bit. And I'm going to position them all starting down here at C0. So now when I play, we can see there's my kicks and they're mapped three keys, three keys, and three keys. And so that's great. And if I want to bring in some snares, same kind of thing, we'll bring that in there. And because I have keyboard track and we can hear the note pitch changing, get rid of that. We just turn that off. But so now I've got an instrument here and I've just got different samples assigned in multiple parts of the keyboard. But say I want to bring in some other stuff as well. I like to bring it in on its own instrument. So why don't we find some sort of jazz samples. And we'll go ahead and bring those in. And we go to our mapping editor. We can see that they are mapped across the keyboard. We're going to bring those down as well a little bit. And I'm going to bring them in. Now, because this is a new instrument, by default, it's set to receive on MIDI A2. So I want to put this on MIDI A1 as well. And so now we can see, if I flip over the other instrument, my keys are mapped here. But when I flip over to the other instrument, So now I've got multiple instruments that are mapped. And if we want to specifically restrict that key range, in each instrument we can go to the instrument key range and specify. And so right now I have that going from, let's zoom in a little bit here and close this out for a second. I can either zoom like that or I can option click on my keyboard. And so now we're starting our mapping at C3 and going up to F5. So those are the only things I want this instrument to have. So I'm going to just type here C3 and F5. So now my mapping is only this instrument can only accept keyboard inputs from to here. And then if I flip over to my other instrument we can do the same thing going to instrument options and if we look at this one let me close out of there see where we're at I'm not going to command option zoom command option click to zoom out and then just option click and drag to pull in I'm already at C0 to C1 so I just come over here if I want to lock that to just that C0 and C1. And there we go. So I've got multiple instruments. And this can work with as many instruments as you want. If I want to toggle between them from this view, I can just hit these left and right buttons. Otherwise, I can just be in multi-view and flip between them. So there you go. A quick look at mapping multiple keyboard zones in contact. Thanks a lot for checking it out. If you have any questions, please ask them on the YouTube page and make sure you subscribe to the ADSR YouTube channel. I'm Stephen Ellistead. Thanks and have a great day.